spooks are on their way When midnight comes there's happy sounds of laughter in the chill Dressed in sheets they're out to haunt the house upon the hill Spooks, woo, they live in Bottle Bay Spooks, woo, they hide away all day Spooks, woo, just listen when we say You won't go wrong with a spooky song with a spooks of Bottle Bay Buy the Bottle Bay Weekly, don't miss this week's. It's fabulous prizes in the Bottle Bay Dog Show. Shame we haven't got a dog, isn't it? I wouldn't want one. <laughs> oh, a dog show on Bottle Bay Pier tonight. Oh, the prize could be money. <laughs> oh, all right, Maxie. I'll take you for a walk. Downstairs. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the kitchen. I should wait till it gets dark. <laughs> but I feel like doing some spooking right now. <laughs> Dog show start. Oh yes, I'm entering Trixie and Mitzi. Oh Sid, would you mind putting the bows on the poodles for me? Mitzi has the green ones and Trixie the yellow ones. Oh, by the way, why don't you enter Maxie in the dog show? Oh, how about oh, it, Maxie? Do you want to enter the doggy show? <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> be careful, you daft dog! Oh, uh, sorry about that, Ted. He thought you were in your shed, Ted. Ah, oh, shit, Ted. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you two look lovely in your bows. Sid's a quick worker when he wants to be. <laughs> oh, if only I still had a dog. I could put him in the show and win all the prize money. Yeah. Oh, there he goes, Sidney. And he's got Maxwell with him. Ah, my podgy doggy must be missing me. I know. I'll follow them in my van and get Maxwell back. Yes! <laughs> my trick today will block her way. <laughs> Yes, the monster is very good at playing the piano. Oh. Come on, baby spook. Let me sing you a lullaby. That might get you to sleep. <laughs> That's only me, Sally Love. Oh, at last I've got Baby Spook to sleep. He's kept me awake all day. Oh. Oh. Are you too tired to come out spooking with me, Sally? Oh, come on. We, we could blow away the cobwebs together. Oh, Fred, you've twisted my sheet. <coughs> oh, no, we haven't got a babysitter. So Baby Spook will have to come too. Ooh, well, well, come on then. Let's hold on tight and we'll have some fun tonight. Oh, dearie me. Oh, Sid, would you take... 
take me back to my granny flat on your bike? Because normally it's so heavy. Of course, granny. It... Oh, just a minute. We can't all get on my bike. Oh. Well, there's you, me, Norman and Maxie. Oh, I know. I'll ask my friend Jack on the Winkle store to look after Maxie. Let's go and find him. Oh, Come that's on. a good idea, yeah. Sid. <laughs> He said, I'll look after Maxie for you. I won't be long. I'm just taking Gran home, Maxie. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 dear. It's time Sydney got his exhaust fixed, eh, Maxie? 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 Dog show tonight on Bottle Bay Pier. Hmm. Any more fares, please? I've already paid. I don't think you have paid, sir. Oh, dearie me, my mistake. Here we are. Uh, excuse me, sir, but it's an apple core. Oh, silly me, and I thought it was a bus pass. <laughs> 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 The exhaust is my stomach rumbly. Oh. Now, my little podgy doggy, you stay there while Mummy gets her din-dins. Yes. Fred, every time I see Sybil Sludge's van, I get a shiver down my sheet. Mm. Oh. She's up to no good again. Mm. She got poor old Maxwell in the back of her van. Here, here. I know. I'll do a spooky trick. Here. Don't be long, Fred. This pie and chips is a rip-off. Before old Sybil leave this place, she'll get pie and chips in the face. Daylight robbery. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I'm being attacked by pie and chips. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> well, that was a bit of fun. <laughs> but I'm a bit worried about Maxwell. Let's check to see if Maxwell's all right. Sally! Maxwell's gone! <gasps> oh, dear. Well, if Sybil hasn't got Maxwell, who has? Uh, uh, yeah. Come along, Maxwell. You belong to me now. <laughs> yeah. uh, from now on, your name is Bruce. <laughs> I'm taking you to the pier to win the prize in the dog show. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Here. Here. Ta-da, Gran. Oh, dear. I spent rather more time with Gran than I meant to. Oh, dear, I better get Maxie from the Winkle store. Oh, no! It's a full moon. That means the spooks will soon be out. I better get going. <laughs> This is your last chance to lure your dog into the Bottle Bay Dog Show. Oh, good gracious, where's Sid? Hello, Maxwell, get it down. No, 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 no. My dog's not called Maxwell. He's called Bruce. Aren't you, Brucey? Well, he certainly looks like Maxwell to me. Maxwell's not the only bulldog in Bottle Bay. Just look at your two dogs. They look alike. You've made a mistake. Please take your places, Mixie and Trixie. Oh, that's us too. Come on, come on. May I wish you the best of luck? Come on, Bruce. Bruce, here. Heel, heel, heel. <laughs> Oh, hello, Jack. I've come to pick up Maxie. Sorry, Sid. Bad news, I'm afraid. I think Maxwell must have been stolen. <gasps> oh, no. I don't suppose you've got any idea who might have done it. Come to think of it, there was someone acting strangely earlier on. 
She had a face like seaweed. She was going to the dog show on the pier. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Baby Spook, you have to keep very quiet and just listen. You wretched dog. Come back here. Maxwell. Maxwell. Here. Here, Maxwell. Here, come back. Oh. You should listen to me. When I say sit in front of the judges, I mean sit still. Oh, you'd better win the prize for me. Now, come on, Maxwell. Here. Here. If ever there was a villain, it's that Cedric Sludge. Naughty, naughty. The judging is about to take place. Oh, come on, baby Spook. Let's go and watch the judging. Ooh. Now, it's been a very difficult decision, uh, especially for me, because I'm a great lover of dogs, me. Well, all types, really, yes. So, I'd like to uh, introduce the Duchess of Dingledale, who will announce the results. It is marvellous to be here on this very special occasion. Bless you. We were very impressed with Bruce the Bulldog. Oh, yes, lovely dog. Who is the owner of Bruce the Bulldog? Oh, that's a Roman. That dog's Maxwell. It, that's time to have a spooky laugh. When Cedric talks, let him just bark. Cedric, what's my podgy doggy doing over there? That's Sybil's turn to be spooked now. When she speaks, she'll just meow. Meow, meow, meow. What's going on here? Are you trying to be funny? Who is the owner of this dog? Hello, Tony me. Maxie, what are you doing here? Hello, Maxie. And who are you? Though that's Sidney Sludge. He lives at our house. That's his dog, Maxie. Maxwell? I thought he was Bruce. Oh, I've had enough of this nonsense. Maxwell and or Bruce is disqualified. Oh, the winner is Bosky the Deshunt. That. Honesty wins the day, and Sybil and Cedric get what they deserve. Nothing. <laughs> Never mind, Maxie. You didn't win the dog show, but you'll always be a winner to me. <laughs> oh, no, Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am pleased old Sid got his dog back. <laughs> well, that's time we were getting off hold. Come you on together. Woo! Oh, Maxie, it's nice to have you home safe and sound again. Oh, good night, Sid. Trixie and Mixie are still in a bit of a huff because they didn't win today's prize. What was the prize? Dog biscuits. Good night. Well... You wouldn't want to win any silly old dog biscuits, would you, Maxie? Oh. Oh, no! It's raining dog biscuits. Now that's spooky. Spooks! Woo! They hide away all day. Spooks! Woo! Just listen when we say You run around with a spooky song with a spooky song Spooky song with a 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 spooky